everybody, it's Anthony here with my Enduro Stick RC. I'm back out of here again on the field for another run, another bash. Such a beautiful day out here today, guys. Nice and sunny, not too hot. It's gonna get really hot later on today, but right now, looks pretty nice. A little bit of wind here, but not too bad. Today, I wanted to um, introduce this truck to the channel and uh, kind of share with you guys and give you guys a quick rundown of my newly completed project here, my new build. Before we give her her first rip and um, give her a good bashing out here, she's never gonna look this good uh, at the end of this day. So, and um, let's get right into it. Basically, what I have going on here is an overkill 7 scale 8s build so those of you guys have been following me in this channel you guys are very familiar with this body right here because i originally fitted this on my crayon xl build and this just happened to be a perfect fit on this truck right here so we'll keep this on here um, i'm actually on the search for an unbreakable body that would perfectly fit on this truck on this build right here so uh, we'll see how it goes so basically what i have going on here like i was saying earlier this is more like an overkill it is hybrid build and this is a combination of spare parts that I already have in hand as well as some EXB parts in here as well so I built this on top of the felony infraction or limitless chassis as you can see right there to be honest with you I do not have high hope for this stock chassis to last very long uh, with the way I drive my trucks and just the way I abuse my truck in general so I'm um, just bash it RC actually have a 7075 option for this chassis so I'm gonna be looking at that but to be honest if I can get at least four or five bashes out of this stock chassis or a couple months out of this stock chassis right here I would not mind uh, slapping another stock chassis on here I mean they are relatively cheap on eBay right now so not bad at all in the front here I have some EXB arms and also in the rear I also have some EXB depths in the front in the center and also in the rear as far as the tower this is actually a V3 Creighton titanium tower in the front and also in the rear right there and the shocks these are off of my Creighton my old Creighton and in the back here I have some stock uh, rare Mojave shocks right there uh, as far as electronics I have a stock 8s off of a Creighton 8s or Outcast 8s truck right here as far as servo this is just um, a budget servo uh, that I got from Amazon I actually have a couple of servos laying around this is the first one that I found on my bench. I actually have a better servo that I picked up a couple days ago. I believe it was a power heavy servo, but I could not find it anywhere. So, well, stick with this servo for right now until it dies. I have a tower tower brace right here. And, and also I was able to fit this Mojave side guards on here on both sides just to kind of protect my system and my lipos inside and just keeping it from all the debris from getting in. I also have this front side guard on here as well. I have a Creon wing right here in the back and I also got um, an Outcast Willy Bar as well. So it's looking pretty good man. And since I'm going to be running this on 8S power, I decided to try out this MX38 belted tires from Proline. So that should hold up a little bit better than the non-belted tires like the outcast that i really like so so we'll see how it goes i also have a couple of upgrades that i incorporated into this build as you can see i have a tibon racing front bumper as well as the rear bumper in the back i have an m2c locking suspension mount as you can see right there and these towers are actually titanium towers that i have for quite a long time now and i have it laying around so i decided to just um use that use it on here um also the back as well i also have a, an upgraded top plate uh as well as m2c steering rack right there and the upper suspension mount as you can see and also have some aluminium chassis braces right there i also have some hot racing deep piece housing right there in the back as well as the front you can't really see it but that's a hot racing bulkhead in there uh what else do i have and in the back here i have some old voltage heavy suspension mount it's still pretty solid still running strong I that's all the setup that i have going on in here and just like any other build that i did in the past this thing is just a lot of fun to do it's always good to build something new and you know some try something different and stuff so all right guys enough talking i think i have talked way too much about this truck already so let's give her a quick rip out here and uh give her a good bash out here and uh let's go have a good time
sorry guys looks like my body post is not holding up all right here so we'll give this a bash without the body and see how she does oh Alright guys, that's gonna do it for me out here today. It looks like my transmitter is running out of power here, so that's why it's making that noise. But um, looks like everything held up. Let me turn off this radio here real quick. Um, as you can see guys, everything seems to be holding up alright except for the body mounts here. That's why I was running without the body there for, for a little while. But uh, it seems like this Badland MX38 built in tires is holding up alright on 8S power. As you can see, I'm, I'm running 8S. 24S packs here. Um, the EXB depth is holding up all right. I haven't had any issue with the uh, EXB depth running on 8S power. Um, like I said, everything is holding up all right, just fine. Looks like this build had a pretty good first run out here, so um, I'm loving it. And it seems like on the chassis seems to be straight for the most part. So you can see right there. So time will tell how how long this stock chassis will last. But again, everything seems to be holding up all right, except for the body mount here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.